to Silver Leaf Tarot. Today we are asking for a message from your future self. And we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile number one, toadstools. And that is with hawk moth. Pile number two, Dragonfly Spirit. And that is with Owl. And pile number three, Meandering Pathway. And that is with Dragonfly. So take as much time as you need to, pause the video if you want, to choose your pile or your piles. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome pile number one to your reading where we're asking for a message <laughs> and yes that message is incoming with our radio here coming out already a message from your future self and your future self is letting you know that you are about to go through a period of massive massive transformation and growth and I was already getting the root chakra energy from these to toadstools and then our root chakra pebble our red pebble has come out so yeah we're hearing your future self loud and clear we're going to put the radio over here this is where it's at um, this oh, in the 44 when I was introducing the piles, um, the numbers, particularly this one, really alerted itself to me. Four, four. Four is the number of strength, stability. So this is grounded. This is on the physical. This is root chakra here. So this period of tra massive transformation with the hawk moth, because the moth, like the butterfly, symbolizes transformation but the hawk moth particularly has the skull symbolized on its back so this is a death and rebirth on the physical so this is root chakra energy this is um, the four four energy this is transformation and growth in your physical world we're in the 3d world we have aries popping up with this again this red gold energy this is vibrant this is the in it the color energies here are all coming into alignment this is trailblazing innovative fearless In your physical world, so this could be where you live, the job you have, uh, the people that you spend time with. I'm feeling a lot of structure energy with the fours. So I'm feeling this is more in the world of your work, where you work and where you live, where you choose to live. It's all um, coming into question because we have the death card symbolized here by the hawk moth. So this is about where do you want to <laughs> trailblaze forward into to uh, create a new structure. You're letting certain structures in your life go now or this is coming up, this is coming up. 
certain structures that just don't work for you anymore because they are limiting your growth. They're limiting your potential. You've got this innovative, fearless, trailblazing Aries energy. Aries is the birthplace of the zodiac. This is the child of the zodiac that is willing um, to let things go and start afresh. And this is all in your, and we've got the red butterfly, in your physical world, transformation on the physical. High Priestess. Number two. Mm, the red pomegranates. Wow. The High Priestess is highly intuitive. Um, she senses, she knows, she understands, she has a sense of knowing about what's going on beyond the veil with the, um, the curtain behind her and then there's these pomegranates which is all about this luscious, fresh, new, juicy fruit. Mmm. The moth also in that nocturnal energy here. So we have quite, we have got fiery root chakra energy. And then we have this very highly mystical energy. This one wants to come through too. Mm. Yeah, so this is on the physical here. The five of pentacles is feeling lack on the physical. And then coming into this space of this nocturnal moon energy, divine feminine intuitive to intuit your way forward. Laying something to rest with the moon here. I feel like this is the last crescent, the final crescent of a moon cycle before it goes into the new moon energy, which is also coming through here with our hawk moth. Something on your um, physical plane, where you live, where you work, this kind of energy has left you feeling um, out in the cold, not getting what you deserve, um, perhaps there's been financial hardship, um, sort of feeling locked out from the castle. These two figures are outside of the church and the glowing lights are in the church um, and they're feeling the lack. I'm getting um, capitalism here, this whole being locked out of the castle, being stuck in the daily grind, being stuck in the hamster wheel of um, trying to pay the bills, trying to pay the bills, never getting anywhere, feeling encumbered, feeling unable to um, live any sense of your dreams. This The snow is falling. It's a very um, out in the cold energy and perhaps you've been trapped in a certain capitalism cycle here where, um, you know, the, the billionaires get all the sunshine and the gold on the other side of this wall through this window and then the rest of us are the workers that do all the work but don't receive any of the rewards and I feel like this energy here has brought you into this high priestess energy where you're it's interesting because it's like you know the fruits of your labor are there for the picking. The sun, the light shining through this window is there. And you've gone into a space of how can I attain my dreams on the physical? King of Wands, very powerful, dynamic, fiery energy here with the Aries, this red energy of the growth and the toadstools and King of Wands, highly dynamic, highly charismatic. Um, I think this is, I can't remember what it is, it's on the tip of my tongue, the salamander. I think the salamander goes through the fire. Aries will, uh, is fearless, will go through the fire to transform. Yes, here the Seven of Pentacles is coming in to acknowledge the message over here that there has been 
a sense of, oh, you know, I'm doing all this work, I'm putting in all this time and effort at my job, particularly coming through, and I'm just not reaping the rewards. I can see other people reaping their rewards, and um, you want to make a move with the King of Wands. You want to make a move to transform your life on the physical. Yeah, you want the pomegranates, you want the growth, you want transformation in your physical world. You've got unicorn purity, mm. and then the thicket of thorns, uncertainty. I'm bringing that over here because this is coming in with this energy of the Aries, the fearless innovative trailblazing. Um, to make this move, you know, you intuit that you have to venture off, here's our red butterfly again, venture off into the unknown. I'm also getting this energy here of uh, the givers of the world, this unicorn purity, are uh, often taken advantage of. And um, because they're of that pure, giving, life of service spirit, they can often end up out in the cold financially. Because they're, they're here, you're here to be a bringer of the light, to be this pure frequency of giving and love and empathy and kindness. And that energy is often not valued in the capitalist world in which we live. And so these pure spirits, yourself included, can end up out in the cold financially, abundance-wise, you know, doing all the gardening over here, doing all the legwork, um, nurturing Mother Earth, nurturing others, nurturing your community, nurturing your family, nurturing your workplace, um, nurturing the company, um, but not receiving the financial rewards that you so deserve, because you deserve to live a life of abundance and freedom and hopefulness. There's, um, there's an energy here, or there's a message from your future self that you can and you will transcend this energy here. You can take the leap, you can be fearless, you can um, walk out into the unknown, trusting this energy of change and that root chakra physical energy. It may seem frightening, and that is why we've got the Aries, the fearless energy coming through, and the King of Wands, your future self letting you know that not only do you have the intuitive, wise um, wisdom to make this move, to lay this energy to rest and move forwards into that pomegranate, this red, this vibrant um, living life on the physical, receiving what you deserve. You also have the physical capabilities with the King of Wands, the chariot, absolutely. It is time, pile number one, to move forwards. Perhaps you've got a plan even with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is self-assured, they are creative, they are kind, they are nurturing, they are bold. They are bold with the chariot here, Aries. This is the time, pile number one, message from your future self to make a bold move to really start to get in touch with the true magic of who you are. You have so much to offer, and thus far or in the recent past, you've felt like that light has been exploited to a certain extent. It's been taken advantage of, it's been used for other people's gain. So there's this high level divine feminine divine masculine energy coming into play here um, that is calling you 
with the radio. It's calling you to leap over this um, working purely for the gain of others energy and step into your own power. Go through the fire, go through um, the period of uncertainty to make this move because the chariot is a successful card. The king of wands is a successful card. There's going to be massive transformation and growth in your physical abundance through taking this leap of faith. Ask for help from others. People want to help you make this change. Your angels want to help you uh, take this leap. Mm. No, we're going to put that here and that here. Yes. You're hearing the call. You're hearing the call to transform your life on the physical. You're just feeling this uh, sense of uncertainty and fear over here. Not sure what to do, which path to take. However, there's an energy within you, this King of Wands, the Chariot, that does know, that wants to take that leap, that wants to follow a certain dream, here with the Unicorn and Purity. Page of Wands, maybe an opportunity coming in with this ask for help from others. And the Knight of Wands, can you believe it? Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, this is all about, and the Chariot. This is all about take action now. Take action now. Um, you got this with the Seven of Wands. Take action now. Yeah, there's this encumbered energy over here where it's like the bills keep coming, but the, um, the fruits of your labor don't match the amount of effort that you uh, need to go through um, to to uh, make your income. There's always a sense of lack. There's a sense of not getting what you deserve. And there's also hardship here. So perhaps your job is extremely tiring, exhausting, and you sort of feel like you don't even have the energy after work to work on this beautiful, pure dream. Yeah. But you know, with this High Priestess and King of Wands, you know it's time to make the change. You know it's time to charge forward with the Chariot. You got this. The Chariot is you got this energy. Seven of Wands also is. It's like you've got this. You've got a handle on it. You've got the physical 3D capabilities. You've got the motivation here with the King of Wands, a very vibrant energy, the Aries energy, the Chariot, very vibrant, very motivated, ambitious. And you also have the wisdom. You have the understanding here with the cross on the heart chakra and unicorn purity, you have the understanding deep within that you deserve more than this, the struggle, just surviving, getting through the week, feeling exhausted at the end of the week, just struggling to pay those bills. You know you're worth more because you are a container of divine light, pile number one. Wow, there is a <laughs> there is just so much growth and transformation coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if there's offers, offers that come in from other people with the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands charging in. These are passionate, vibrant energies and ask for help from others. Ah, yes. <laughs> Three of Cups. People want to help you in this. You're going to get a lot of support from family and friends. 
you're going to step out, it's going to feel a bit frightening, it's going to feel a little bit um, uncertain because you're stepping out into the unknown, you're taking charge of your own life here with King of Wands and the Chariot and the Aries, you've, you've decided to get in your own chariot, to sit on your own throne and start making things happen for yourself, particularly in um, your finances and in your career. Um, it's a bold move. I'm getting a lot of angelic energies here um, to say that you are highly supported in taking this leap, trusting your intuition, and trusting this fiery, motivated, dynamic, charismatic energy where you want to surge forward in the physical plane, in the 3D. You want to grow and transform. Um, you're tired of being in um, a state of survival in the 3D world. You want to make a move. And your future self is coming through loud and clear to say, Yes, you should. It's like once you set um, the course in motion, other people here, I got the Three of Cups to clarify, ask for help from others. Other people and opportunities with the Page of Wands are going to come in to help you on this new pathway. There's this energy of being uncertain and being fearful and worried about making this choice. And then there's these like purely vibrant, energetic, Aries, fire sign energies right underneath to say, go for it. Pile number one, your future self is saying, go for it, jump in your own chariot, sit on your own throne, help will come. This is key here. Other people or opportunities or job offers or um, business partnerships or some sort of collaboration, like people will come in to support you. I'm also getting the angelic frequencies of that, that you are supported by the angels, by this angelic energy at this time of growth and transformation in your life. There's going to be celebration. Three of Cups is celebrating. The Chariot is success. You will be successful on this new endeavor. People will be gravitated towards you to help you, to support you, to celebrate with you, to work with you. There'll be lots of offers that come in. Look at this cornucopia of abundance here with the Three of Cups. You will be successful in this new endeavor. It will transform your life on the physical for the better. And there's also a sense of taking matters into your own hands. So that energy that becomes this gravitational pull towards you for opportunities, abundance, and other people wanting to work with you or help you out, is because you're, step, you're <laughs> leaping over this kind of um, hardship mentality because you're choosing to sit on your own throne and start driving your own chariot to start steering your own chariot there's this energy of you want to take matters into your own hands in some way on the physical particularly to do with finances and work and once you really harness that energy once you lean into it and decide to charge ahead fearlessly, that energy of you stepping into your own power, taking matters into your own hands in terms of the physical world, um, is going to magnetically attract this energy of opportunities coming in, people coming in to work with you, help you, that angelic frequency of um, divine support You've got your crown of stars here. You're being intuitively guided on this um, big, bold endeavor to take matters into your own hands in terms of the physical 3D world. This is your message, pile number one, uh, from your future self. The message is clear. It's to go for it. 
it's to go for it. You have the power now to transform your life on the physical, to move away from surviving into thriving, growth, transformation, thriving and celebrating your success on the physical. Thank you very much for being here with me for this reading, poll number one. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two, and welcome. One, two, twelve is the number of your card. Your future self has a message for you, and it is about change, growth, transformation, and also your intuition. Your intuition is on point with our L here. Ooh, your, ooh, your intuition is leading the way to a beautiful change, pile number two. We see from the feet of the owl comes this beautiful waterfall. We've got these gorgeous lilies, um, lotus flowers, the lights in the beautiful pool of water. What a magical place to be. Change is on the way. Your intuition is on point. Pile number two, change is on the way. One, two. So one is that sense of your individual self, um, what you want, your desires. And two is about working with. Amara, Amaterasu, no more hiding. Oh, there's a very beautiful, soft energy here. It's very gentle. Very gentle. Oh, eternal love, Aphrodite, number two, partnership. Oh, this is self-love um, coming through very strongly. Look at all this pink energy. Very soft, higher heart chakra energy here. This is very gentle, very loving. Um, your future self is coming through with a very highly loving, nurturing very beautiful Empress energy, safe space Nematona. I mean, the goddess energy coming in is so beautiful and gentle. There's this, dragonflies are so fragile. They're so gentle. They are light. Uh, you know, they fly over the surface of the water. They're very light. They're beings of light. We have this highly intuitive energy, divine feminine, intuitive energy with our owl spirit here, the moon and the stars on the wings, the wings outstretched also. Getting that with this no more hiding, you are a safe space for yourself, pile number two. We see the, yes, the fragility, the vulnerability. It is safe for you to be vulnerable and to reveal your true self to the world with our owl really stretching open its wings. You are a being of love. You're, you're a real lover, pile number two. You have so much to uh, give and you have so much to receive as well. You're, you're a magnet for love, for affection, for desire, for beauty. Um, you're just such a beautiful, beautiful soul, pile number two. And it is safe for you to reveal um, this love to the world. Um, the 3D world, the matrix can feel quite harsh, very patriarchal in, in the um, really harsh authoritarian sense. Um, there's a calling for you, pile number two, from your future self, to reveal your true, vulnerable, beautiful, um, divine loving, divinely loving self. No more hiding. It's very divine feminine energy. Ooh. Ah, there's, yeah. There's this sense of that it's safe for you to be vulnerable. Page of Wands 
King of Wands, Five of Swords. So interesting because these two cards came up in pile number one, but from a different deck. Mm. This particular Five of Swords, I always get headache, hardship energy. This page of wands is <laughs> linking up with Nematona safe space where this beautiful figure is throwing caution to the wind. They're, they're throwing up the wand. Um, they're, they're, making, they're willing to take the leap. There's a beautiful um, dancing, dancing energy. There's a vibrant energy. It's very light. It's being willing. Um, it's feeling safe enough to sort of be, she's quite vulnerable as well. You know, she's got her arms open wide. It's revealing her passions, her creativity. There's definitely this message from your future self, pile number two, of no more hiding, no more sitting in the shadows. Yeah. Wow. It's interesting getting such a divine masculine energy coming through with the King of Wands and our Lion, the Crown of Fire, but there's some sort of conflict here with the Five of Swords about this energy. Mm. And then we have our beautiful Divine Feminine Empress loving energy, Aphrodite, eternal love. Mm, and then the devil. There's conflict here, perhaps about how to balance the two energies, how to move forward in a space of divine femininity and divine masculinity. Let's get some more cards. Ace of Cups, yeah, you're a real lover. And the Four of Pentacles is aligning to show this holding back. Holding back from fear. <clears throat> from fear of being exposed. Fear of being vulnerable. Mm. King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit. Ah, yes, coming under this safe space and the hiding away. And then the Seven of Pentacles. And then Queen of Cups. Mm. Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're just, you're being guided by your future self to set yourself free from whatever cages, caves, um, containers with the devil that, that you have been high, dimming your light to fit into. Pile number two. Change is on the horizon and it's a very, um, it's a very light energy. This isn't a drastic change on the physical. This is more a you um, being guided by your future self to emerge from the shadows, to come out of your um, cave with the hermit and also Amaterasu is exiting the cave. She's choosing not to hide any her true self with the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, Aphrodite, eternal love. You know this, you're a pure heart. You're a real lover, pile number two. And I'm realizing you're pile number two as well, two, two. This is, you have so much to give, so much to offer, and it's almost like you've been afraid 
to really let your light shine. You've been holding back in some way. You've been doing work in the shadows. <clears throat> that could be shadow work, but I feel like you've been working on something here. Seven of Pentacles underground. <clears throat> There's this energy of it's time to exit out of your comfort zone, the safe space in the shadows, in the cave, um, holding yourself back from fear, holding yourself back. It's a calling for you to shine your light and surrender with the Queen of Cups, surrender to <laughs> allowing yourself to be seen. For the real lover that you are, you have so much to offer and it's this very gentle energy. But there's a calling over here <clears throat> to um, harness and call in <clears throat> that throat chakra coming in, being blocked. To call in this divine masculine energy to emerge out in the physical world, in the 3D world with Ace of Pentacles, to, to grow and change um, with this energy of mastery, a willingness to be vulnerable, to reveal your true self to the world or reveal something that you've been working on, you know, in the back room, in the spare room, in the garage kind of energy. Um, to allow that to shine into the world. We're going from in the cave with the hermit to um, letting yourself be seen. You have so much to offer. It's The message from your future self is more, it's internal. Yes, it will affect your physical world um, because when we change on our inner selves, we change our outer experiences. And there's been a fear, a worry, this um, inner critic energy, this um, you can't do that energy from this crow in your mind, keeping you trapped with the devil, keeping you afraid um, and holding back with the four of pentacles. But this beautiful energy here is about you. You can change, pole number two. You can put this inner critic, this inner doubter to rest and you can fly forwards. You can be successful here. You can be successful. King of Wands and King of Pentacles are highly, highly successful on the physical. We also have companion energy here. So having your own back, being loyal to yourself and your own dreams here, rather than um, attacking yourself, telling yourself that you can't do it. This is a change in mm, Ace of Pentacles, the seed of growth, this change. This is a change in how you treat yourself, how you talk to yourself. You have this beautiful divine feminine energy to offer the world. You have this beautiful light to offer. You may have been working on something um, not really telling anyone about it, um, not really committing to um, showing that work, revealing that work to the world. And this is a message that those thoughts that have been holding you back, they are stemming from a place of fear, not love. They're stemming from a place of a fear of being seen, a fear of being vulnerable. And your guidance from your future self is to release yourself from that fear and surrender that beautiful divine feminine energy of surrendering to, of opening up your wings and allowing <clears throat> yourself to be seen. Now for the real lover that you are, you have something very beautiful to offer here. Ace of Pentacles. It's like you've been working on something. This could be something creative. It could be a side hustle. Um, 
it's just something really beautiful. It could be a book. We've got our King of Pentacles in the library. You have something beautiful to offer, to offer the world. And your message from your future self, pole number two, is, is no more hiding. Um, it is safe for you to emerge from that cave, whatever that is, whether it's, you know, working on your paintings in the garage and writing your book in the spare room, there's, there's something beautiful, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Aphrodite um, coming in here with this pomegranate, there's, you have something beautiful to offer the world, to offer others, to give, to give, uh, to others, to the world, and your guidance from your future self is, is to let that be seen, to have the confidence here with our King of Wands Leo energy, to let yourself, this project, this creativity, this talent, this um, something you have to offer, to let it emerge out of the shadows, and be seen, and success will follow. The King of Wands and King of Pentacles are highly successful on the physical. So if this is something you've been working on, um, you know, in the back room, by letting it be seen, by offering it to the world with love, love for yourself, self-love with the mirror, but also love for others, love for what you're doing, love for what you're creating. You know, you're offering this with love. It will be received um, handsomely is the word that came through. This, There's money on offer here for you, uh, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, if this is, yeah, something... Um, creative, something to do with uh, a business, some kind of offering. It's coming from your heart center. It's coming from the divine feminine. It's coming from a place of love. And you're being guided to let, let go of keeping it hidden, keeping it under wraps, because that is coming from a place of fear. It's time for you to emerge out of the cave um, with this wands, light, fire, self-love energy. You have, what you have to offer is truly beautiful. It's beautiful, this energy here. It is beautiful. It is of great value. It's time to take the chance, pile number two. Stop holding yourself back. Stop letting this inner critic, the, the doubting crow, um, tell you that you're not good enough or that it, your creation isn't good enough or what if everything goes wrong. All of those energies here, um, you're being guided by your future self to release yourself from that and start being your own best friend. Start having your own back because what you have to offer here is is of great value. It has great worth. It is beautiful. It could be creative. It's sparkling. You know, this is this is something that um, has real potential. But the kind of key message is that you setting yourself free from hiding whatever this is away, uh, from being um, too afraid or too self-critical to let to show it to others, um, this energy will release you, this change where you're willing to be vulnerable, you're willing to have this beautiful part of yourself be seen by others, will <laughs> trans it will transform you internally but it will also transform your life on the physical so it's a beautiful opportunity to let your creativity shine to let your heart center shine and take center stage and what will come from that is these beautiful opportunities on the physical world uh, to make money from this gift that you have to um, build 
a beautiful life um, from allowing yourself to be seen for who you really are, being willing to be vulnerable and to be willing to have your own back. Both of these kings have their spirit animal, totem animal companion that has their own back that believes in them, that it's this be your own best friend. Um, limit the negative self-talk over here, pile number two, because it's keeping you trapped. It's keeping you holding this gift back from the world. And your, your message is that once you allow yourself to reveal whatever this is, to the world, you will feel free and opportunities on the physical plane will come in. Um, and yeah, if this is something you've been working on, you know, in the back room, once you reveal it, once you choose to be vulnerable and reveal that to the world, start that business, um, show your artwork at an exhibition, whatever, you will feel free and you will um, step into a path of abundance over here. Out of the cave, out of the negative self-talk, into self-empowerment, having your own back, being your own best friend, and feeling the freedom that comes with that shift from hiding certain aspects of yourself away um, into stepping into the light and allowing yourself to be seen and allowing yourself to receive the opportunities on the physical world that will come from that emergence. This is your message from your future self, pile number two. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading where we're asking for a message from your future self. And I just got the shivers then about this meandering pathway. You're on the right path. This coming through, pile number three. You're on the right path. Um, we've got you as a message coming in. This is your angels coming through. They're guiding you. They're sending you messages. You're receiving those messages with the dragonfly here. And you're on the right path. You're trusting your intuition. You're trusting your higher self and you're trusting your divine guidance from your angels. There's this very powerful energy around you, pole number three. It's very powerful. It's very divine. You are being divinely guided at this time. That is your message from your future self. Plain and clear. There's um, no question about it. Oh, page of cups. So cute. <laughs> like this is having a dream, following that dream, being willing to trust your intuition. The page is a very youthful energy. Page of cups is divinely inspired. This is uh, creative energy. We have our goldfish here. This is abundance as well. This is dreaming big and following those dreams, being willing to go on the meandering pathway, to go with the flow and to trust your intuition at all times. Light. See the light within yourself and everyone else, one step at a time, lots of little steps, make big dreams come true. I mean, this is so beautiful. This is, you are on the right path. You're following the light. You're following the light of your divine guidance from your angels. You're following the light from your guidance from your higher self. One step at a time, just trust. Such a beautiful message of trust. Lots of little steps make big dreams come true. Beautiful, beautiful energy. You're on the right path. Look at this energy of 
you know, finding the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's no pot of gold here, but our goldfish are there. The pot of gold is definitely in your energy, but this is just such a beautiful message of trust in the flow, trust in this one step at a time, all of these standing stones, one step at a time with our beautiful unicorn here, taking the step. Trust your intuition. Pole number three, you're on the right path. You're going the right way. Such a beautiful, beautiful message. Follow the light. Follow your hopes and dreams. You got this, Queen of Swords energy. Like, you got this. You know how to navigate this. Queen of Cups. This is follow your hopes and dreams. Message, pile number three. One step at a time, just follow the meandering pathway, trust your intuition, take one step at a time, and big dreams will come true. Big dreams will come true. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Massive opportunity in the physical world. This is a golden opportunity. Wow, there's just this beautiful magical energy with your pile, pile number three. It's just gorgeous, it's light. It's about dreams fulfilled, dreams coming true. Oh, Ten of Cups, I mean, <laughs> you know? Wow, your pathway, your current pathway, you're on this pathway now and your future self wants to come right in and let you know you're on the right path. This magical, beautiful, wish come true energy is, is all around you. You are following your guidance from your angels and your higher self. Just keep moving, keep going <clears throat> down this pathway. Um, oh. <clears throat> It's just, yeah, just beautiful. This beautiful incoming opportunity on the physical, tied with your intellect, tied with um, the way that you think, the way that you move through the world, the decisions that you make. Interesting, leading you to the Ten of Cups. Oh. Can you believe it? The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my. Like. Oh my. <laughs> you know, trust, trust. Poem number three, you are on the right path. You're on the path to your Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles life, which is your dream life. You are making clear and accurate decisions at this time. Also trust your intuition with the Queen of Swords. Trust your intellect. You are absolutely capable of making the right decision at the right time. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, this is trust your feelings, trust your intuition, trust your guidance because you have this beautiful dream here you have these hopes and dreams um, that include physical abundance with our goldfish and that abundance that monetary abundance that um, just it's all waiting for you down this path if you are being called at this time, pile number three, to go down a new path and you're feeling that calling um, emotionally, you can see um, the intellectual sense, the rationality of taking this chance, taking up this opportunity and going down this new pathway and it lights you up <laughs> with light. It lights you up in terms of it makes you feel hopeful, it, yeah, it's the sense that going down this new pathway will bring um, great fruits, a fruitful energy, a blessed energy, um, a feeling of being in alignment with your soul. If you're feeling called to take on a new opportunity, 
here to go down a new pathway. This is a message, poll number three, from your future self to absolutely trust your intuition. Go with the flow of this um, insight, of this idea with our glowing staff. Um, it will lead you to great success and happiness. This is living the life of your dreams over here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. And this is you choosing um, to trust and follow a new opportunity with the Ace of Cups. Oh, Ace of Swords. So many Aces have been coming out in the readings. Ace of Swords, this new idea. And the Two of Pentacles is, should I, shouldn't I? energy. Well, you should, oh my gosh, crown and glory with this Ace of Swords. Well, mm, yes, you've been doing a certain thing for a long time, and this is this pentacle over here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's been dimming your light, maybe you've been on a particular pathway for a long time, and now suddenly you're like, what about this idea? What about um, taking this new pathway over here? And the energy is saying that if you're being called to leave one pentacle, one um, thing behind, with the Ten of Wands being the end of a cycle of hardship, but it is also a card of success. It is reaching, reaching your milestone, but with hardship here, Whereas there's this other opportunity at hand, a golden opportunity, crowning glory energy that lights you up, that fulfill, will fulfill your hopes and dreams. There's a clear cut decision to be made here, and it's choosing this pentacle. Many of you are already on this path. You've already kind of reach the end of a cycle with the Ten of Wands, and then you're picking up like a new pentacle. You're starting a new cycle. You're picking up a new opportunity, a new decision, a new pathway, and you're heading, you're already on the path. You're already trusting your intuition. You're already following your hopes and dreams. And it is leading you to bliss, wealth, abundance, joy, family, friendships, community, union. This is ultimate happiness here. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles coming out back to back, back to back. This is joy on the physical. So this is financial abundance. This is pleasure in the work that you do with the people that you work with. This is creating something that passes down through the ages. So this could be creating your own business here, no longer working for others, starting to work for yourself. That creates this Ten of Pentacles energy where you uh, create a vibrant, loving, happy workplace that is fruitful and abundant and there's joy in the work, working together. Um, <clears throat> that then, you know, maybe this business gets passed on, um, you know, to your children or there's this energy of creating something that can be passed on, that the joy of it, the abundance of it, um, can be passed on, on and on, like it just is so fruitful and abundant and joyful. There's a lot of joy here. You have the chance now to create something just with this long lasting joy and bliss. Hagalas, so this is a radical change here. I get tower energy from Hagalas, but it's also like the spark of insight with this electricity and the full moon ending a difficult cycle. <clears throat> and Lagus are going with the flow. <laughs> Absolutely, go with the flow. Choose the new opportunity I'm getting over here. Choose the new opportunity, the new idea, yeah, the new path. 
Oh, Jira, leading to abundance. This new pathway, whether you're on it already, and you will know because it, it lights you up, it lights you up in your heart space, in the feels. <laughs> it, you've, it's in the feels. This is uh, following a pathway that gives you great pleasure. Um, on the on the inside, it makes your heart sing. It lights you up. It lights others up. It's a true offering uh, from the spirit, from your spirit. Um, you're a great decision maker here with Queen of Swords. The decisions you make now, pile number three, have a direct influence on your future happiness, your future abundance. Um, you are 100% going towards the life of your dreams. Ansu's, Odin's Ravens, Odin's Eye, well, Insight. Mm. Yeah, it's like Insight Divine Guidance. You are being divinely guided, absolutely, and there's this spark of insight energy this knowing what's not right for you energy over here this is all about trusting your intuition power number three trust your intuition trust your intellect you have a lot of like this what you're this clear-cut decision making um cutting through the bs energy here seeing things for what they are um seeing what no longer serves you with our two of pentacles and being willing to trust the flow of your journey and make decisions um, that will benefit you in the long run. So this is um, highly sustainable, long-standing joy and success and pleasure and abundance and wealth. There's massive success over here, all um, key with this, your decision-making abilities here. Your deciding to trust your heart, to trust your dreams. You may have prophetic dreams at this time that are guiding you. You're, you're being guided down this pathway towards absolute success and abundance and joy and bliss. This is a highly fruitful, abundant energy. So much abundance in the world of joy and money that you have so much, you have an abundance to share with others. This is family joy. This is community joy. This is joy, you know, friendship joy. This is just beautiful. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. I'm getting you're making the right choice coming through here with this two of pentacles. There's this clarity that you're gaining at this time about what you want to leave behind and what you want to move forward towards. Beautiful opportunity on the physical and um, a beautiful idea, a really clear idea about which path to take or how to navigate the path ahead, this one step at a time, trusting your guidance, trusting your intuition, trusting your feels, trusting that energetic sense of um, which step to take next. It's leading you towards great success, <laughs> pile number three. Trust your intuition just keeps coming through. Trust the insights, the clarity with which you are seeing um, your life and the opportunities in front of you. Trust your intuition, pile number three. And trust the flow. You don't need to be able to see what's at the end of the rainbow, but you are being shown <laughs> here. Your future self is showing you the wealth and abundance and joy and happiness that is at the end of this rainbow. <laughs> Just take it step by step, step by step. Yeah, 
trust the inner light, trust your guidance, go with the flow, uh, trust any prophetic um, profound dreams that you're having because they are bringing you this electric spark of insight and the clarity, this intuitive, insightful clarity that is coming in in this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords energy. Um, yeah, trust your insights. Trust your thoughts, your mind, your clarity of perception. Because you are seeing things very clearly and you are seeing which pathway to choose. You're on the right path. You are being guided. Your intuition and insights and intellect is on point. This pathway will lead you to uh, living the life of your dreams. Pile number three, this is your message from your future self. Boy, are you being guided <laughs> internally and externally. You are being guided. Trust your guidance at this time. Pile number three, it's leading you to the life of your dreams. Um, thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you all here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.